So next topic we have literals. Next uh, literals means we have some fixed values. Values means some, there are some symbols which are treated as literals. So if you see in that your keyboard, there are many symbols at the one, two, three, right? Those are already been special. Just like keyword we have, some words are being uh, put in special. Same like we have some special symbols which is treated as a literals. So there are, they have some special. If you write you that right syntax, then you will have a special value to be represent. So one is array literals. So if you write array, if you want to create an array, then you have to use this literals like this. So this will become an array. But symbol, symbol, you can change the whole width. The, the representation of the mean can be changed. So we have other like Boolean literals. You can use this for understanding the Boolean means uh, we, when we write some condition, right? we use this literals. We have greater than equals to less than equals to equal equals to means to, to find the difference of the both value. Okay. And we have not equals. Floating point we have we have decimal, we have exponential. Say so this is equal to one. So this is also correct. But also you can add dot that will become a decimal floating point for that. And also if you write e in that, then it will become exponential. Exponential is one dot two, then I guess you have to write how many exponential. So this this is correct one. So this will be let me write five here. Exponential five. So after two, how many zero? One, two, three, four, five. So five zero would be there. It's, it has to up, up to five uh, decimal number. So likewise we have other letters like numerical letters. These all are like this one. These are decimals. If you write put zero one or this value, then this becomes opt. Opt number. But opt is up to zero to eight. Okay. And uh, we have x also. Then x is represented as o x means zero x. Just before that, you have to write like this. And uh, x only can be uh, be there after just uh, twelve number. Then we have object letter. So with just like array, if you write that basis, if you want to declare, then this becomes object. If we have regular expression letters, means uh, this is used when we write some regex ex expression to match something. So a equals to in the, the word will be searched in in the sentence. Like uh, we can search. Well, this is the rec ex expression. This is slash. What I'm talking. This is the rec reference. If you write this literally just for that, then this becomes regex. Next, we have uh, stick matrix. If you want to define, stick, then we have so just like you have to write. And if you want to, you also can use uh, like this one quote also. Doesn't matter. Both quotes. It, it doesn't mean that you have it has to be a, a, a letter can be multiple letters. But sometimes what happens when we write tem template letters. So we have a template letters also. So what is template letters? Letters is defined as uh, if you see there's a one, you can use the same one. This is a template letters. And if you want to change, then you can use this word to change your value. So to run fox, jump more than lazy. Fox, lazy uh, can be active. It cannot be dog. So if you use dynamic thing, Want to write uh, HTML full fetch, then this is the best use case. Uh, comment if you know or not. This is the comment double slash or uh, dot multi comment. If you write multi comment like this, with this you cannot do it. it only give you single, comment. other will be uh, some programming. Level. So when you will uh, execute this, this whole thing will get ignored. So you don't do. What you want. So you just put everything which is not relevant to your code. Put that in your comments. Uh, called operators. Symbol that define how operates will be proceed. So operators are, but we have uh, like plus symbol. We have other uh, minus symbol, right? So those are operators. So those are also special. We already know in the maths what it what it means. Same is applied here. Plus minus divide percentage is also there to find the mod mod here. And uh, we have not also. And sometimes we, we can use uh, XOR. The case of this XOR is to be encrypt or encrypt something. So, so when you write some algorithm, this is the best use case of that. Yeah. Hope you understood this far. Please do check out the next session, Data Types in ECMAScript. Catch you later in the next video.